Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. As the aviation industry continues to grow and evolve, aircraft programs reach their end and give new life to other aircraft series. However, with every departing aircraft comes a host of memories and milestones. In the past week, a convoy holding the very last Airbus A380 arrived at the final assembly line in Toulouse. This time last year, roughly Airbus and Emirates announced a landmark deal which saw the carrier announce it would be cancelling its most recent order for the world's largest passenger plane, the A380, and move towards the A330neo and A350 for future operations, as well as their existing A380. With the decision, and Emirates really being one of the main operators of the Super Jumbo and keeping it well and truly alive, Airbus regretfully announced that they would be ceasing all production of the jet in 2021, with the final A380 heading to Emirates in that year. With news of that, anticipation has built over this one being built and eventually delivered. A town in the south of France welcomed for the final time major parts of the Airbus A380 as it headed towards Toulouse for completion by the aircraft manufacturer. It's not a sight many of us can say we've seen, but one for those in that small town they'll no doubt remember for some time. This A380 being transported, as mentioned, is the final one that will be delivered to Emirates next year. It'll close off a chapter that stretched from 2007 when Singapore Airlines welcomed on their first A380. Now, as we've seen already, the first couple of A380s with Singapore Airlines have already been retired, with some heading to the scrap. This is down to the second-hand market for the A380, truly being non-existent. While we saw High Flyer welcome on their first Airbus A380, there was also talk of British Airways might be keen to welcome on used Emirates A380s, who as we know, have a rather quick turnaround rate, but it's become apparent this won't be happening now due to a number of little problems that I've covered in other videos. Currently at the time of recording, Airbus only owes two customers deliveries it needs to fulfil, with only one being for All Nippon Airways, who recently ordered three A380s. Each of these jets feature a unique livery, with the Hawaiian sea turtle being front and centre. The final ANA A380 will wear an orange scheme to represent the sunset of Hawaii. Therefore, following this delivery, the remaining seven units will be delivered to Emirates. When comparing the Airbus A380 to other aircraft, its life has no doubt been short. The Boeing 747 series, introduced some 50 years ago, still flies today and of course has the 7478 flying today with customers. While not having the same impact on the industry as the A350 or 787, on a whole the 747 including the Dash 8 changed the industry forever. So has the A380 done that? Yes, in multiple ways, and all the while becoming one of the most favoured types of customers to fly across the world thanks to its comfort and ultimately space found on the jet. The A380 was promised as a jet that had helped carriers at congested airports, and for a short period it was believed to have served that purpose. However, with the introduction of the A350 and 787 series, now even the 777X, customers soon realised that there were more efficient twin jets on offer, capable of doing a similar job with far less difficult logistics and ultimately being more efficient to them. It in turn really did kill the Super Jumbo. While no aircraft can quite reach the capacity of the A380, the new 777X can definitely give it a run for its money, depending on the configuration chosen by the said customer. The new 777X also gives A380 customers a lot to think about, especially Emirates, given they will indeed be welcoming the 777X into their fleet sometime next year. So with the final set of parts arriving into Toulouse to complete the final Airbus A380 to be delivered to a customer, do drop your thoughts on the entire program in the comment section below, whether you have had a brilliant flight on it or something else. For me, it was flying on the Qantas Airbus A380 through to London on my first ever wide body flight, first ever international service and first time out of Australia. A memorable flight and really highlighted the capacity and space of the A380. It really allowed you to move around. As we've seen over the years, it's given customers more and more chance to customize and build new cabins that continue to be more technologically advanced and more comfortable. In turn, 
placing more and more people in favor of flying the A380 on their next international service, should they be able to with the said airline going to the said destination. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>